In this question, we are given that a point on the hypotenuse of a triangle is at a distance A and B from the sides of the triangle. Here these distances are perpendicular distances of the point from sides. Let's say this is the point and A is the distance of that point from vertical side and B is the distance of that point from horizontal side and we have to show that the minimum length of hypotenuse is this expression. The length of hypotenuse can be written in terms of lengths of the sides but we don't know this distance and this distance. So let's call them x and y. So now I can write square of length of hypotenuse is square of length of this side that is a plus x squared plus square of length of this side that is b plus y squared. Here a and b are given so we will treat them as constant but x and y are variables and there are two of them so we will have to eliminate one of them using geometry of the triangle. So to do that let's consider the smaller triangle and this triangle in these two triangles this angle is equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles this right angle is equals to this right angle and this angle will also be equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles so the red triangle and the blue triangle are similar triangles and using properties of similar triangles we can write this side y divided by a equals to b divided by x and this gives me y equals to ab upon x so I get l squared equals to a plus x squared plus b plus ab by x squared now we want to minimize l that will be same as minimizing l squared because l being a positive function will have minimum at the same location where minimum of l squared be there so let's call this f and to minimize f we have to do df by dx equals to 0 so df by dx will be 2a plus x plus 2b plus ab by x into minus ab by x squared this I can simplify as equals to 2a plus x plus here I can take this b common and take x LCM so I get 2b x plus a upon x to minus ab upon x squared that will be equals to from this I can take 2a plus x common so I get 2a plus x into 1 minus a b squared upon x cube and this we have to set equals to 0 so this gives me x equals to minus a and x cube equals to a b squared or this gives me x equals to a to the power 1 by 3 b to the power 2 by 3 now here this is negative value of x so that is not feasible so we are left with only one possible answer for x and to check whether we have maximum or minimum at this value of x we need to do second derivative test and the second derivative I can find by differentiating df by dx and for that I will use simplified version of this expression so that upon simplification I get df by dx equals to 2a plus 2x minus 2a squared b squared upon x cube minus 2a b squared upon x squared and d2f by dx2 will be derivative of 2a will be 0 derivative of 2x is just 2 minus 2a squared b squared 
derivative of 1 upon x cube will be minus so this will become plus 3 divided by x to the power 4 minus 2ab squared and derivative of 1 upon x squared will be minus 2 upon x cube now this expression is positive function of x and will be positive for any positive value of x so this is always greater than 0 so that gives me we will have minimum at x equals to a to the power 1 by 3 b to the power 2 by 3 and the minimum value of l squared can be obtained by substituting x equals to a to the power 1 by 3 b to the power 2 by 3 in the expression for l squared so l min squared will be a plus a to the power 1 by 3 b to the power 2 by 3 all squared plus b plus a b upon a to the power 1 by 3 b to the power 2 by 3 all squared that will be equals to from this I can take a to the power 1 by 3 common and because of this squared that will become a to the power 2 by 3 and I'll be left with a to the power 2 by 3 plus b to the power 2 by 3 all squared plus here a to the power 1 by 3 will cancel this a to give me a to the power 2 by 3 this b to the power 2 by 3 will cancel b to give me b to the power 1 by 3 and from this I can take b to the power 1 by 3 common and then that again because of this squared will be b to the power 2 by 3 and I'll be left with b to the power 2 by 3 plus a to the power 2 by 3 all squared from this I can take a to the power 2 by 3 plus b to the power 2 by 3 whole squared common and into a to the power 2 by 3 plus b to the power 2 by 3 that is equals to a to the power 2 by 3 plus b to the power 2 by 3 whole cube and that is equals to l minimum squared so this gives me l minimum equals to a to the power 2 by 3 plus b to the power 2 by 3 whole power 3 by 3.